Hey everybody, it's Scott the Steen Roller Steen with winnersandwiners.com. Coming to you with the one and only Steen Roller free play of the day. Coming to you from the Mobile Command Center here in Des Moines, Iowa. As always, if you guys are having a little fun digging what we're doing, maybe you've even made a buck or two over the last couple days, we'd appreciate it if you just give us the thumbs up. Give everybody an opportunity to click that thumb here right at the beginning before yours truly forgets about it. Uh, here we go. Hover over that thumb. I'll count it down. Three, two, one. Click. All right. Beautifully done. Thank you very much, guys. As always, if you haven't subscribed, we would uh, love it if you consider subscribing to our YouTube channel. Click the bell, get notified each and every time we put up brand new content. And of course, if you're looking for a second opinion, there is no better place to go than winners and winners. Dot com, the number one site in the world for predictive sports analysis. And last but not least, we certainly want to know what you guys are playing today. Uh, give us your best plays. Put them in the comment section. You get them right. Hey, we'll give you the shout out. You get enough of them right. You could wear the crown of capper of the day. All right, guys. Well, just uh, taking a look at the action yesterday. It, uh, it took us a little while to get there. It took extra frames, but... Uh, we were rewarded with a little bit of faith as the Milwaukee Brewers came through, paid a nice price there as they outlast the Dodgers 6-5 uh, to five there in 10 innings. Dodgers scored two in the top of the 10th, take a 5-3 lead, but the, but the Brewers came storming back. Very nicely done, and uh, that uh, was a nice payday for us. By the way, I hope everybody did well on the Derby. Um, I was up here uh, for horse racing, and I got to bet on the Derby. And uh, I hit the exact. I had the, uh, but but here's what I, I had a I had an exact box with the seven eight nine and fourteen. Hey, those were pretty good horses. Maybe should have put a superfecta box out there. Um, I was standing next to a guy at the track as we were watching the race, and he hit the superfecta. Um, so yeah, nicely done. So yeah, I made. Uh, it, it, I think it, it, think it, it paid, uh, I think it paid 500 bucks on a $2 exact. It, nice day. Don't get me wrong. Not pitching, but, uh, 9,000 for the super effective would have been a nice hit. So anyway, I hope everybody did well. It was, uh, it was fun. And, uh, yeah, we, we'll be back in the regular studio tomorrow. So, uh, with that being said, let's take a look and see what we've got cooked up for today's action. Shall we? Uh, guys, I'm taking a look. In the AL Central, my Kansas City Royals finish out their three-game set with the Minnesota Twins up there in Minneapolis. Uh, Keller goes against Barrios for the Twins. Guys, I'm on the Twins right here on the run line. Even though they are the home team, we're going to pick up a nice price at plus 100. I really like what the Royals have done so far this season. They've been a nice, pleasant surprise. But you know who hasn't been a surprise, at least on the good side, has been Brad Keller. Uh, he still pitches like the Royals are in last place. Now, Brad is disappointment after leading the staff last year. Um, he has not been good this season. Now, he did have a, a nice start last time out, but uh, that came against the Detroit Tigers. So, yeah, I, I think that's a team that stretches the definition of Major League Baseball team. So, we don't really count that in the uh, in the big column for Brad. Uh, overall, in five starts, he has a 9.00 ERA, 2.27 whip. Uh, that is not good, kids. That is not good at all. If you're new to baseball stats, that's not good. Especially after five starts, you're starting to get a pretty good body of evidence. I think this is going to be a mismatch against the Twins and Jose Barrios. Uh, he's a pitcher. He's given up two earned runs or less in four of his five starts. Now, the Twins struggled yesterday against Danny Duffy, but that really wasn't a shocking development given the, the Twins have struggled with lefties all season long. But you know who they haven't struggled against? Right-handers. They absolutely rake against righties. They put up 5.2 runs per game. I expect the Twins to score early and often in this one, giving us plenty of margin there to cover the run line. And I think Barrios does his thing. Give me the Minnesota Twins on the run line, plus 100 at the end of this one. You guys can join me as we pick up our winning tickets and head back to the window. All righty, guys. You know how I did. Let's see how y'all did today. <clears throat> Excuse me. By the way, it's uh, good to see Nick Rampero back. Um, it's been it's been it's been a minute, Nick. If and if you recall, it was pre-pandemic, and before not too long before that, you'd become a father, right? So how's, uh, how's fatherhood going? Hope everything's going well. And uh, yeah, it's amazing how 
you just don't have quite as much time to watch and uh, handicap those games as you might have had before this. So I uh, hope you're having fun, brother. Uh, Michael Harbach had a nice day. Goes 3-1 and one plus 190. Greg Gillings goes 2-1 and one plus 90. George Paltos, nice done. The Mad Greek, he's got a clean sheet. 3-0 and oh plus 300. Aaron, he goes 2-2 two and two and he got juiced. But we do have a couple of perfect uh, perfect 1-0s, and, and that's going to be Sean O'Reilly, 1-0 and plus 500. He had Chelsea. And Brandon Zerface, 1-0 and plus 500. He had the Hawks laying two in the first quarter. Both of those cashed, and both of those have made Sean and Brandon the cappers of the day. Congratulations, gentlemen. Well done. Well done to the rest of you. Uh, as, as far as everybody else goes, you know what? Sunday, time to finish up the weekend strong. Let's go out there, have a little fun, make a little money, all right? You guys take care. Wish you nothing but the best of luck. Open every one of those tickets in your pocket. Turns into cash money back at the window, all right? You guys have a great day, and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.